السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرح لی صدری و یسلی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم انفعنا بما علمتنا و علمنا ما ینفعنا و زدنا علما والحمدللہ علا کلی حال So here we are with our session number 32 and we are going to start with our review inshallah. So um, let me take you to review. <clears throat> Second, okay, here we are. <clears throat> so um, my dear sisters, uh, my first um, thing uh, that I would like to ask from you all is, uh, what are the rules for our outside doer? What does an outside, outside doer has to have for it to be an outside doer? Otherwise, you know, you, we cannot call any SM an outside doer. Very well done. It has to be rough in status. It has to be a rough in status. Must be rough. Very well done. What else do you remember from our previous session? So status has to be rough, right? Outside doer is only going to be, you know, we are going to look for outside doer only in two forms of a fail, which are hua and hia. Very well done. Outside doer comes before the fail or after the fail? What do you think? about the position. It has to be after the fail. It can never come before the fail. Otherwise, it is not going to be called outside doer. For it to be called an outside doer, outside doer has to be after the fail. Very well done. Okay. <clears throat> so the question is, true or false, no matter what the number of outside doer is, only hua and hia form of fail will be used. What do you think? Is it true or false? It's true. Very well done. It's true. No matter what the number of people um, um, who are doing the action is, your outside do, uh, you know, a doer can be any number, but you will only use hua and hia form of the fail. Okay, keep that in mind, inshallah. Then, um, true or false, when outside doer comes, it fires or cancels the doer pronoun of the fail. That he and she or it gets canceled. True? Everyone agrees with that? Okay. True or false, Outside doer generally match matches fail in gender. What do you think? Yes, it does, right? We have done uh, when we I was showing you the table in our last session. See how al Muslimu al Muslimani al Muslimuna were after Nasara. Nasara has who are inside it, and al Muslimu is masculine, masculine, al-Muslimani is masculine, al-Muslimuna is masculine. And Nasara, 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 Hua is referring to he pronoun. When it comes to Nasarat, it is referring to she, Hia is referring to she that is sitting inside a Nasarat, which is invisible, however, it is there. And you can see the outside doer in, in all three cases, no matter what the number was, were all the time, you know, you have noticed that they were fe females, right? Al-Muslimatu is a feminine word, and it is, you know, being denoted, the femin uh, femininity is being denoted by ta, ta marbuta. Again, al-Muslimatani, ta is denoting, that word is a feminine dual, and al-Muslimatu, atu ending is telling you that this word is feminine plural, right? So I hope this concept was well understood by everyone. When attached pronoun is with a fail, the status of an attached pronoun is, 
what happens? What is the status of an attached pronoun? It's nasp. It's nasp. It's a detail of that action. If you remember nasarakum or nasarahu, you will never forget that. Okay. Just keep one example in your mind and work with that example. Okay. And that will inshallah help you retain all the information. So let, let's use this quick exercise uh, from your book. So drill num it is drill number three, page number 77 on your dream um, Arabic um, language book um, um, of Bayina that we, has been shared with you in your group. So Rabihat, Rabihat. What, what do you think about this fail? Is it a fail? Do you think it's a fail? Does it look like a fail? What's the doer? What's the inside pronoun in, uh, in uh, here? What's the pronoun here in, in this field? It's it's here, right? It is here, right? Here, Rabi Hat. Tasakun is telling you that it is here, Rabi Hat. Will you look for an outside doer now? Yes, you will look for your outside doer. Do you see your outside doer? Do you see your outside door? What is your out, outside door here? Tijaratu. Hmm? Tijaratu. Right? Tij no, home cannot be an outside door for, for this. Okay? If you had to bring something outside, if you had to bring something, something outside, something uh, as an outside door, it should not be another um, pronoun, keep that in mind. You will see a rare example of that where you will see um, a pronoun after a hua fail in Quran in Ayatul Dain, but that is, you, you know, you will not call it um, per se a file. Um, you know, it is there to emphasize the uh, hua, however, that, that's a, a discussion for a later time. Your you, you, you never call, uh, first of all, look at this construction. Tijara to whom? Tijara to whom? No, no. Tijara to whom, what is this construction? First of all, tell me, do you see any fragment here? It is an idafa, right? Tijara to whom is an idafa. Now, when you look, in, uh, um, when you look at an idafa fragment, what part tells you what determines the role of an idafa? Is it mudaf or mudafi lehi? Which one should you focus on? Should you focus on your mudaf or mudafi lehi? You will focus on your mudaf, which is tijaratu. Okay? Tijara is basically this word was with tamarbuta, but when it had to be attached with home, it opened up, it became an open ta. It is basically a tamarbuta. Making sense or no? So tijaratu is, a, is, is your, you know, mudaf. Tijaratu hum, hum is the mudaf ilehi. Now we just reviewed this concept that your gender should match. Ideally, in an ideal circumstance, your gender should match. We are not talking, you, you know, we are not talking about, you know, uh, exceptions, but in an ideal situation, your gender of a fail and file should match. So here, here is feminine. Here is for feminine. Rabi hat is here feminine. So tijaratu, what do you think about the gender of this word tijaratu? Is it feminine or masculine? It's feminine. So, whom can, could never have been a doer for the uh, uh, Rabi Hat, right? Their gender does not match, right? Always remember this fact that when you have to determine a role an idafa is performing in any given statement, phrase, words, you need to focus on your mudaf. Okay, your mudaf is going to tell you what this, what is the role of this fragment in any given verse. Okay, home is always going to be 
what is the status of home here? What do you think uh, um, of status of home here? It is Jar. So can uh, a word that is Jar and status be an outside doer? What have we determined so far that your doer is always what in status? Doer is always blank in status. Think about it. It's never nasb in status. Your doer is always rough in status. It's always a rough in status. Keep that in mind, okay? Doer is always rough in status. Tijara to home. Tijara is an outside doer for Rabi Hat. And Tijara to home is also an idafa. Home here is mudafi lehi and jar in status. Now look at this one. Dakhala. What do you think about Dakhala? Can it be Hua um, Dakhala? Okay. So can it be fail madi? Can we call it fail madi? Yes, and then we when it is dakhala and it, uh, and it is hua dakhala, should we look for an outside doer? Yes, we can look for an outside doer. What do you think? Jannatahu. Can it be an outside doer for dakhala? Look carefully. Why not? You are right. It cannot be. But why not? Yes. Jannata is Nasbin status. Jannata is Nasbin status. Is there? When it is Nasbin status, I do not need to worry about anything. I'm just going to stop everything, right? Jannatahu is an idafa. Very well done. But Jannatahu. The status of the Siddhafa or the role of the Siddhafa is that it is a detail, but it cannot be an outside doer because your outside doer has to be what in status? Doers are always rough in status. So this cannot be true. Barakallahu fi, dear sisters. So he entered his garden. He entered his garden. So his garden is then detail and that is his garden is detailed, that is idafa, and it's also nasbin status, right? And your mudaf is going to determine the role. So I know that this is coming up as detail of this sentence. He entered his garden. Who was the doer? He was the doer. What was the action? To enter was the action. And rest was the detail. So his garden is the detail. Now go to this one. Qala lahu Musa. Kala lahu Musa. Kala, can it be fail madi? Can we call it a fail madi? Yes, we can call it fail madi. What will be the pronoun inside there? Or what will be the pro, uh, uh, pronoun here? It's hua kala. Okay, hua kala. So now we are going to look for an outside doer because whenever we see anything in hua or hia form, we should look for an outside doer. Lahu is your. What kind of thing lahu is? What do you think? Do you remember? Is it one word, two words? Aljar wal majroor. Very well done. So we will leave it as it is and we will go to Musa. Hmm? So can Musa can Musa be an outside door for Kala? Yes, it can be. Yeah. Musa said to him, makes sense, right? So we can call Musa an outside door for Kala. Remember, um, in Bayina, it, this structure is called, in terms of flexibility, a non-flexible structure or a non-flexible ism. But inshallah, uh, when you will learn um, intermediate to advanced grammar, you, you will know it should not um, be called Mabni or it should not be under the category of non-flexible and you will learn a little bit more about this uh, but for now we will leave it as such but we know it cannot be Musa you so it is but it is in fact you know this Dhamma is hidden somewhere it is implied it is Muqaddar so we are just going to make it an outside door for Kala and that works for us very well now come to this one forget about Fa Fa we have not done so I'm not going to even go there is the toama? What do you think about this word? 
what does it look like by its end what does it look like it looks like a fail it looks like a fail and it looks like a dual fail do you see doer here <coughs> do you see do, doer here i'm not talking about outside doer i my my listen to my questions carefully do you see a doer very well then sister roxana this alif is the doer ta ain mim are the root letters alif is a doer and what is it telling you how many people are doing the action will you now look for an outside doer should we look for an outside doer no because our fail is not in huwa or hiya form it is in huma form when it is in huma form i do not look for an outside doer i do not need to look for an outside doer what do you think about this construction ahlaha ahlaha what do you remember about this idafa very well yes it's um, it's people it's inhabitants you can call you know whatever translation works for you it is an idafa ahl is an ism do you remember uh, what kind of an ism ahl is ahl if you remember uh, let me make it easy for you uh, what kind of a plural what kind of very well done it is an ism jama very well done okay because always gives a plural meaning it never uh, it does not have a singular and it does have a plural as well ahluna you will see in quran inshallah so now let's do this one akhaz akhazathum akhazathum what do you think about this word akhazathum there is it a one word or there are two words yes it there are two akhazath what do you think about akhazat now tell me it is hiya right two words and akhazat is hiya akhazat right akhazat is hiya whom is um, an attached pronoun what will be the status of whom here every time my attached pronoun gets attached to a fail it is nasbin status because it is a detail it is a detail what do you think about a rajfa arrajfatu 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 this one tadamatu it's an ism that is after a fail it is an ism that is after a fail it is matching a fail in gender akhazat has hiya arrajfatu is feminine by sign because tadama is there it's because earthquake does not have you know any biology um to make them um feminine or masculine it is feminine by sign if you remember muannas qiyasi it is a doer for akhazat do you all agree you all have you all understood this alhamdulillah okay so now the earthquake seized them right so akhazat see to seize whom them arrajfatu is you can translate it as the earthquake the earthquake seized them so them is the detail she got fired or it got fired by arrajfa right you are now going to give this position of she or it in akhazat you all agree or this is something confusing everyone with me so far okay and the new new people confusing what is confusing where is it getting confusing where is the confusion coming from is it you know in, uh, you know you, the rules if you go by your rule akhazat was hiya and so we started to look for our outside tour arajfa was feminine 
it was raf in status it was matching in gender with akhazat so it fulfilled the whole criteria for an outside tour and that is why we called it an outside tour for akhazat okay. home home when i when if, if there was no home akhazat arrajfatu the earthquake ceased right the earthquake ceased arrajfa was feminine because of tamarbuta muannas qiyasi the sign feminine right akhazat is your fail that is hiya arajfa is the outside tour home is your detail the earthquake seized them hmm? yes akhazat yeah everyone with me so far type 1 if you are type 2 if there is still some confusion okay but the banar rasul واتبعنا الرسول واتبعنا اتبعنا what do you think about this word it's a fail who what do you think about the doer of this fail no outside doer very well done yes we are not going to look for outside doer that i agree but who who is the doer here na is the doer very well then humera very well then so na is the doer here right and when we have anything other than hua hia we do not look for an outside doer and we followed we followed who a rasul a rasul is the detail right and that is nasbin status because detail is always nasbin status and we stopped here we stopped searching for our outside door here because we had our door here which was in the form of na which is translated as we now look here and pay full attention allamani allamani what do you think one word or two words there are two words so what are the two words can somebody tell me what are the two words allama one word and ni is a attached pronoun right ni is a for attached pronoun so now what do you think about the doer of allama he right it is hua or he very well done now What do you think about status of this ni? It is nasbin status, right? Everyone agrees. Okay. Now, when you have allama, will you look for an outside doer? You will, right? Rabbi, what do you think about this construction? Rabbi, idafa, my Rab, my Rab taught me, right? So can Rabbi, Rabbi, be an outside doer? Now everyone agrees with that. Now there can be a question. There can be a question, and I'm surprised nobody asking 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 me this question. that how come this rab is not with dhamma do you know why it is, is it not with dhamma because our outside doer the mudaf has to be with dhamma right everyone no uh, um, um, nobody has this question that why this rabbi is not rabbu keep that in mind one thing in mind whichever word whichever word your ya is going to attach itself to whichever word ya is going to attach itself to it will give it a kasra so rab was basically rabbu plus ye 
but because of ya mutakallim because of this ya mutakallim first person singular pronoun this word is getting this kasra keep that in mind it is very important okay in all three forms when it is uh, nasb it is going to look like rabi when it is jar it is going to look like rabi and when it is raf you can see it is looking like rabi but you should know the context in 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 this case in this case the context helps you determine the original status of rab okay when ya mutakallim attaches itself to any ism it will give that ism a kasra okay no matter what no matter what the status is now the word is only going to be with kasra like qaumi rabbi kitabi it it can be raf nas or jar and you now have to determine the status based on the context just like we did with musa just like we did with musa musa did not have dhamma at the end we determined status of musa based on the context similarly we determine because rab is there you cannot nobody else can teach rab 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 is not not a receiver of teaching right rab is the one who teaches us right ar rahman allam al quran right ar rahman he taught quran right allah subhanahu wa taala teaches us it is you know because the perfect knowledge absolute knowledge and wisdom belongs to him he has taught us the way to live through by sending messengers books and hidayah is it clear so based on context you will determine the status of your idafa when ya mutakallim is attached to an ism because in any form in both in th all three forms it is going to be like this if whichever word it is it's always going to be with kasra okay i hope this is clear now qalu what do you think about qalu this word it's a fail qalu one word is is it one word or two words i'm just focusing on qalu that's it it's one word and who it does it look like a fail yeah it looks like a fail does it have a doer it has a doer because every fail has a doer unless it is majhul there is a doer for every fail so who is a doer here is it visible can you see it very well done roxana very well done sister roxana i'm so proud of you this wow this wow is your doer here okay no wow is the doer here qalu just like in nasaru we have learned that wow is the doer similarly in qalu wow is the doer and be translated as they said should we look for an outside doer now do we need to look for an outside doer we will not look for an outside doer keep that in mind keep that in mind do not have any i do not want anyone to have any confusion regarding this concept okay now come here this is your last um, uh, phrase and then i think we should be good khalaqakum what do you think one word or two words and this is the way we are doing in class i want each and every one of you to do when you are doing your own practice okay there are two words khalaqa kum is another attached pronoun so we are going to look for an outside doer but do you see any outside doer here no there is no outside doer because there is no word that is coming after this fail khalaqa that is in raf status so we are not going to be worried what do you think about min turabin what do you think of this construction min turabin aljar wal majrur very well done and what is the status of kum here 
It has not been started as why, Sister Samina? Detail, very well done. Very well done. It's a detailed attach pronoun. Whenever they attach to a fail, they're always must win status. Uh, very good job. So I think um, for those of you um, uh, who have not, um, you know, uh, still responded, I'm, I, I'm hoping that there's understanding though. Yeah. So why do we say it does not have an outside doer? We do not see any outside doer here, dear. And not every hua and hia have to have an outside door. They do not have to have an outside door. Okay? But we do look for an outside door um, uh, in a hua and hia form. But, it, you know, it, it is not that, you know, we always have an outside door for a hua or hia form. No. Sometimes when I, when I make a, you know, when I write a paragraph, I, I write it, I, um, I saw Fatima, she was reading a book so I do not have to, you know, say Fatima was reading a book, Fatima was going to school. No, I have, you know, when I write a passage, I have already determined. So um, Min Turab is just Al Jarwal Majroor. It is going to be, um, I will, we, we, we are going to learn about it. We, we are still to learn about it. So we'll just going to, for, for, for now, we are going to just uh, write it as aljar wal majroor or you can say it you know it is um, you know when uh, it is mutalik will fail related to fail so just you can leave it as that for now okay so let's just learn a little bit more about our outside doer before we do some more practice okay so remember one thing when you when you have your non human plurals when you have your non human plurals for every unintelligent being masculine feminine broken plural or you know otherwise a regular sound plural as well your fail is going to be muannas okay your hia faalat is going to be used is this something clear or no everyone understood this Alhamdulillah. So whichever form, even if it is sound plural or broken plural for non-human, you are going to, for sound and broken plural, you can say, then fail is going to be here in the here form. Okay. So here you can see kuloob. What do you think about kuloob? What kind of a word it is? Kuloob. Kuloob means hearts. It, uh, this word means hearts. Is it a sound plural or a broken plural? Yes, kulubuhum is an idafa. Kulubu is the sound plural or a broken plural? Kulub. It's a broken plural. Kalb is a singular because you know you do not have atu natin ending, right? Your sound plural feminine should have atu natin ending, right? And your kulub is unintelligent not like humans gens or angels so it should not it cannot have it cannot afford to have una ina ending so it is your broken plural because the original structure was broken up you there was a change in letters or there was an addition of letters and there was a change in haraka that you can see kalb is with kaf fatha and kulub is with kaf dhamma and lam dham wow so what does ghair akil mean ghair akil means um unintelligent something that does not have an intellect Akal is intellect, okay? So even body parts are going to be considered as ghair akil. However, the person who is possessing, who is a possessor of those body parts is an akil, but body parts themselves are going to be considered and, and are going to be taken as ghair akil, okay? Akil, look at the root letters, ayn, qaf, lam, akil. Akil is intellect. Anything that does not have an intellect is going to be ghair akil, right? Without akil. Everything without akal is going to be ghair akil. Okay? Keep that in mind. So here, what form of fail you are seeing? Tashabahat. Tashabahat. What do you think? Tasakun. Hmm? It's a, the fail is in hiya form, right? Tashabaha. Tashabaha. Tashabahu. Tashabahat. Right? Hiya tashabahat. So now, I'm going to look for my outside doer. Can Kulu be an outside doer? 
Yes, it is in our outside world. Their hearts were similar. Hmm? Is this clear? So now, katabat, katabat. What do you think about this fail? This is a fail. Now tell me, who is the doer? Here is the doer. Can you see the doer? Can you see the doer here? If you if you are looking only at katabat, can you see the uh, doer here? No, it is hidden, right? Is it? It is damir al mustatir, right? If I'm just focusing on katabat, I cannot see the doer. Tasakun guess is telling me that it is the doer is feminine, okay? But doer itself is hidden. Now I come to aidihim. Aidihim. It means their hands. So can this be an outside doer for katabat? This Sidafa? Yes, it can be, and it is an outside doer. Yes, again, you can have a question that why is it, it's not with Dhamma. This is also um, an irregular construction. The root letters are ya dal ya, and because of um, how um, this broken plural is um, put in the version of uh, um, you know in the version, uh, it 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 has to be you know just with ya. So uh, it's basically um, um, you will consider it as uh, um, as a word that has you know. A dhamma, you just imagine it um, having a dhamma, okay? Just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And it is a body part in pair, that is why katabat is used. And body parts, and what about body parts in pair? How do we treat them? They are, they are feminine, right? And what kind of feminine are they? Is it real feminine, sign feminine, or hurt feminine? It is from bus, which is hurt feminine, right? It's monus samai. Now look at this one. So now there are cases. It's very important to, that you pay attention today. There will be cases in Quran because you are not going to do few verses uh, of Quran and the job is done. No, you are, from what I can understand, you are aiming to master or trying to comprehend the entire Quran, inshallah. Okay, so for that, it's very important that you pay attention to each and every slide here. So sometimes if your doer is broken plural, intelligent being, it is permissible to bring hua or hia version of fail. Okay, it can, the, the, uh, the fail can be hua or hia. Okay, and either one of them can be used. How does it work? What do you think about this word nisbatun? It means women. So if it, if it means women, does it look like uh, women? It, it sounds like plural or singular? It's a plural. What kind of a plural it is? If it is a plural, what kind of a plural niswa is? Sound plural or broken plural? SP or BP? It's a sound plural. Oh, sound plural? No. Do you see atun, atin at the end? It's a broken plural. It's a broken plural, right? Because you do not see atun, atin ending, right? It's a broken plural. Keep that in mind. Women, it's a broken plural. So now you had a word here, kala niswatun. After kala, there is a word that is rough in status, okay? So now think, what were you expecting here? You were expecting that the she form should be used, right? Which should be kalat, right? Kalat, right? But it is kala. And this is not, I'm not making up anything. Nauzubillah, maazallah. This is from Surat Yusuf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used kala niswatun. And Allah can do everything. And this was something, the, the, this is how ancient Arabic worked. Okay? You need to at this stage know that your broken plural can have, you know, can have a hua or hiya form. Okay? You are expecting hiya here and I did tell you 
the rules of an outside doer you know the gender match generally a gender will match but this is not matching in gender but still you will see you can check 100 translations and you will find it there the women said from the town okay is it something clear or no but this is something that is jais okay this is something that is permissible so th this is the reason we need to know our broken plurals okay this is something that is jais it is permissible and then again you see qalat rusuluhum how will you translate this qalat rusuluhum qalat means uh qala means to say so now i will tell you why is it so um maybe um little later i think it will take a lot of time but inshallah so at some point we will learn it why we change something okay i will i will focus here right now qalat rusuluhum translate this for me qalat is here this form this is a form of a fail that can have an outside doer can rusulu hum be an outside doer it can be right rusul is in rough status right their messengers their messengers said rusul the singular who remembers the singular for rusul rasul very well done so what kind of a plural rusul is if rasul is a singular what kind of a plural rusul is it is a broken plural now you can see what are you saying here was there any female messenger sent on this earth was there any prophetess no right they were all you know they were all males we and we agree and we even you know it's our conviction that all messengers were males right so he but here since we know now this rule that for broken plural for broken plural intelligent being it is jaiz to use either hua and hia form so we will not be confused okay we, there should be no no confusion when we are translating it we can treat it we can say qala rusuluhum and we can also say qalat rusuluhum qalat niswatu is fine as well qalat qalat niswatun is okay and similarly qala niswatun is fine as well okay yes broken plurals are treated as single feminine as well yeah but you know you will see them being treated both ways yes broken plurals are also uh, in you know human broken plurals can also be treated as single feminine that is correct that is correct they can also be treated as single human broken plurals can be treated as single feminine but you will see them being treated both ways as well keep that in mind okay rusuluhum means their messenger their messengers their messengers or rasuls it is not one it is their it is broken plural right rasuluhum i o i did not see your spelling rusuluhum is their messengers and rusuluhum means their rasul yes sister rana rasuluhum is going to be their rasul yes generally they will be treated as single feminine yes they are mostly going to be treated as single feminine this only always does not work here it will not work and it does not you know you will see in real world only always does not work there will you will find you know i taught you every tanween is an ism but then i also showed you a fail with an tanween didn't i right the i told you light with no alif lam makes a mudaf followed by jar is going to be dafa i gave you an example of an idafa from quran with al al muqim as salati al muqim is salati that is um i don't remember now the surah number 
but th- th- there was a mudaf with al so always only um you know is not going to work this the, the, this all this in addition to what you already had in your book is being presented to you so that you are not confused when you are challenged with different forms of um of al with different forms okay of uh, uh, um, different kinds of uh, plurals and uh, which are maybe inte- you know um intel uh, plurals for intelligent beings versus um unintelligent beings you should be well versed with the fact that you know your broken plural if it is intelligent being for it you can use hua and kia form okay he hua and kia version can be used hmm. is it clear to everyone because you will see you will see this being treated otherwise as well so it should be clear in mind just like clear as a day okay now if your doer is in a samjama again both forms of fail are allowed now see kazabat qaumu nuhin can you see can you translate qaumu nuhin who can translate qaumu nuhin qaumu nuhin what is this here what construction is here it's an idafa so it is translated as idafa qaumu nuhin first word light no alif lam followed by jar and idafa right nation of nuh alay salam so now kazabat what kind of a fail kazabat is it is wa kazabat or hiya kazabat it is hiya kazabat so can you see qaum is in rough status it is after the fail and it is coming up as an outside door for kazabat is this something clear or no i see very few uh, um you know answers uh, salma lina uh, let me see let me call out more people okay rubin is it clear so qaum if your qaum is your ism jama for ism jama both forms of fail are also allowed kazabat is a hiya version right qaum by structure what kind of a word qaum looks like in terms of gender when i ask you a gender of qaum what will you say about the gender of qaum it is masculine right it is no sign of femininity it's not uh, talking about females not really feminine or biologically feminine it is not um, you know something that is under the category of hurt feminine at all right and there is no sign so it is a masculine word your word is by default masculine but you can see here that he a form of fail has come because it is allowed okay it is allowed again you will see in quran surah al an'am verse number 66 kazaba bihi qaumuka kazaba bihi qaumuka here what is qaumuka what do you think what structure is qaumuka it's in idafa it is in idafa and can you can you call this idafa what's the status of your mudaf what is the status of your mudaf rough status and can it be an outside door for kazaba yes it is an outside door yes it's an outside door for kazaba your people didn't belied him okay i hope this is clear when you come to your ism jins jami where did you learn this ism jins jami yes so kazaba is hua kazaba and qaum is an outside doer kazabat is hiya kazaba hiya kazabat and qaum is the outside doer both are allowed both kazabat and kazaba is allowed what do you think about ism jins jami what kind what, what where did you learn them is a type of a plural or what it's a number when we were learning numbers you learned them there it's a 
it's your one of kind one of the kinds of plural it's a plural that is made by removing a ya or tamarbuta from a singular word for example room the singular for room is roomy okay roomy so you just removed that ya and you 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 got this room you have bakara bakaratun bakaratun and if you just remove the tamar buta and you say bakara it is going to be your plural so that kind of a plural that is made by removing tamar buta or ya that plural is called ism jins jami and for that for that plural also both forms are allowed can you see gulibat gulibat this was originally gulibat why is this kasra here who remembers this kasra yes it is also majhul yes it is majhul but we will not um, you know um, but, but, but it's a past tense form um, and it's a majhul form but um, we have not done it but still because i didn't could not find any other example so i just brought this example because um, to teach you you know um, what um, forms of um, you know what are the different um, um doers and uh, um, and different forms of doers can have hua and hia both so for par tajweed rule you have this ta kasra otherwise it was with sakun it is it has no grammar, grammatical significance i hope everyone remembers this inshallah so can you see it the room the romans were defeated okay it is translated as the romans were defeated and uh, or will be defeated because of you know this this was vaid actually this was um, not vaid i would not say it vaid it was a promise uh, but a good promise um, yeah, and then you know there will be you know for following um, that was a success for them so um, it was uh, one of from we have done it that you know this from ijaz from ijazul quran that you know this was a something a prediction that allah subhanahu wa taala gave several years before this event actually happened so but the point to remember is that in case of ism jins jami these plurals can also uh, for these plurals also both forms of fail are allowed okay you can have hua or hia okay yes prophecy jazakallah <laughs> khair yes barakallahu feek yeah so now uh, uh, the last uh, two points uh, about your outside doer if your doer is real feminine but there's a distance between your fail and doer then you know you may not see the exact form so al mu'minat what kind of a feminine it is what do you think it's a sound feminine and it is you know it's a real i guess it is because of the sign you can say that the word is feminine but in actuality the mu'minat is you know referring to real um you know fe uh, females right women real women are being called mu'minat right we understand that right it's not talking about you know fake feminine kind of a thing it's not talking about um winds being called feminine where they, they have no relationship to um uh, you know femininity in, in, in biologically but we just treat them as feminine because arab said so mu'minat is you know we are talking about women right women of iman so but can you see here and this word is rough in status which is being denoted by a dhamma at the end of the word but did you notice that here the verb is jaa it is not jaat hmm? it is not jaat because and the reason for that is you can see that there is a distance it is not exactly jaal mu'minat there was a ka in between jaa and al minat can you all see this so whenever there will be a, there there is a distance between a fail and the doer you will you can see that you know the expected form of fail may not be there the gender mismatch may be seen is this clear you may see gender mismatch if there is a distance between a fail and an outside doer 
if your doer is fake feminine, then also you will see both forms. You know, haqqa alayhimu dalala. Can you see a dalala? Haqqa is, an, is a fail. And the outside doer is a dalala. Dalala means the misguidance. Is it really feminine? What do you think? What kind of a feminine? It is feminine because of sign, tamar bhuta, right? So in Quran, you can see both forms and these verses are from Quran. The parts of the verses that I have shown here are from Quran. Okay? So it will be, a dalala can be treated as, you know, can, can have a fail that is huwa in the huwa form and it can have a fail in a hiya form as well. Okay. Similarly, you can see a sriha is also, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, earthquake, thunder, whatever. So again, for that, akhaza, akhazat, both are used. So keep that in mind. If a doer is fake feminine, you may see a mismatch. Okay? It is allowed. It is allowed to have a mismatch. So okay, who can um, now tell me when can we see a mismatch of gender between a fail and an outside doer? We just did them. If your word is, if your word is a broken plural, you can see a gender mismatch. If your word is ism jama, you are going to see a gender mismatch. If your word is ism jins jami, you can see a gender mismatch. Both forms are allowed. Okay, both forms are allowed, or you may not see, you know, the expected gender. If your word, if your doer is distant from the fail. You, you know, you will see a gender mismatch. If your doer is a fake feminine, both forms are allowed. Hope that's clear. Before we end, Alhamdulillah, okay? So keep that in mind and inshallah, um, that will not um, confuse you when you see a verse and you will still be able to translate words very well with this knowledge in mind. Because our purpose is to get to the right understanding of Quran. And that is only possible when you know, you know that you have to treat something like this as a doer or a detail. And if you don't know all these facts, you cannot correctly translate. Yes, you can memorize the translation, but you know how much you can retain um, without any understanding. And you have to have a clear understanding as well. So again, coming back to Sister Ranaz's question, what is Ghair Akil? So Ghair Akil is something that is Bevakuf. So Bevakuf, who is Bevakuf? So it's not Bevakuf, it's without any Akil, without any intellect. You can, you know, your objects are going to be Ghair Akil. Your winds are going to be Ghair Akil. You just have to remember one thing. And let me tell you what Akil is, the rest is all Ghair Akil. In humans, jinns, and angels. Humans, jinns, angels. They are going to be akil. And we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above all. So I'm not, we know that Allah is above all. So we, I'm not including him in this category because we, we and Allah cannot be in the same category. Not even the prophets and Allah can be in the same category, right? Allah is above all. So, all, you know, the, these four is akil. Rest is all ghair akil. Okay? Without any intellect. Your hands, your heart, your tongue, your head, your feet, all are ghair akil. Earth, um, tree, all are ghair akil. Is it clear? Now or still there is confusion? In a very um, in our very first session, you were uh, given um, a list of I think um, on, on not in the very first session. I'm, I'm wrong. I think it, in in your number you will have this where um, you know the intelligent beings um, are going to be only ones that are going to occupy the plural masculine column, and intelligent beings include humans, angels, and jinn. So humans, angels, and jinn, you are going to call them akil. Rest all you can call ghair akil, and you will be fine with that. And sometimes they do uh, start acting like Akil. Um, and we, I will tell you that. And that is from the, um, you know, 
from the balagha um, and that is the miracle of quran how you know the ghair aqil will act like aqil um, and that is from the mercy of allah and uh, and that is allah's doing and inshallah we'll do it a, a, a later so with that um yes if we are using objects and we use he a form yes and if we are treating we have to treat animals uh, we have to use a fail for animals uh, plants or and you know or earth or sky and uh, or plural of skies you know many skies you are going to use the he form so with that i will end the session subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu um i hope um this concept gets well understood because we are going to start our maf'ul um inshallah in our next session inshallah